Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. We're gonna do a little bit of cooking today. Um, you seen me and Brody go down to the woods the other day and get a squirrel. Well, I went back this morning and I got a rabbit. Uh, wound up with a turtle dove. I took my 22, I was just kind of grocery shopping. I was just kind of browsing aisles and you know, it just had to be what was there. So. I'm going to quarter this rabbit up. Now, what I'm going to do is cook it in this Dutch oven. We're going to put it in the oven. So, y'all have seen me cook some squirrels like this before, but now the rabbit is the one thing. I, I have been cooking rabbit this way for a long time, and I used to do it exclusively on the grill in like an aluminum pan. But I'm going to be honest with you. You can cook on the grill and it won't make 10 cents worth of difference because you're not exposing to the smoke because it's completely wrapped up. So you're basically baking it. So I can do it in here, same result. So I've, I've done washed this rabbit really good and there was still a piece of hair right there. We're gonna pull that off and get it clean. Um, so let me get this quartered on up, cut up like we wanted it. I just kind of cut around these legs and uh, I try to not bust any bones because I, y'all, I don't like shards of bone in my meat. So I usually try to cut down to these joints right there and then just pop it loose. That way you're not. So I'm going to put all of this meat in there and then I'm going to put that dove right up on the top. But now Roscoe, he is faithfully sitting right here watching us. He thought I was gonna give him that bite when I kinda of pointed at him with it. I tell you what though, we'll, we'll give Roscoe, since we got plenty, we'll give him a little bit there. Now I've got some carrots right here and I got my garbage can right here under me. I'm gonna scrape these teal leaves. Carrots. Yes. You know a knife sharp when it'll cut through a carrot and the carrot don't shoot halfway across the room? I know that probably don't happen to none of y'all, does it? All right, we got, ooh, now. But they will roll all over And the chickens will get the rest of it. Now I like to put them top parts right there up on the very top. Now I like celery. You take a stalk of celery and some salt in your hand and you got a good snack. Let me get to see if I can cut this onion up without bursting into tears on y'all and go to bowling and whatnot. I have been cutting up onions. You think I've been listening to George Jones? Me and my daddy, we cooked a stew over there. We were standing there chopping up onions and wiping tears and cutting onions and wiping tears. I'm gonna half it that way and then. Some folks like to mince the onion up real small. I like to be able to find it when I do it. Now let's, let's cut up some of these potatoes. I cut them up. I like my potatoes cut up in pieces big enough I can get a spoon and a fork. And I didn't know I got four of them laying here, but I don't think I'm gonna need that many. I believe bro. He's mad because he's got breeches on. Come in and help daddy cook, buddy. You wanna be on camera? Come in and let's cook for these folks on YouTube. He said, uh-uh. Mm -mm. He ain't happy tonight. Now, I got some green onion. I, I done put onion in there. But now, I like to chop this green onion up because it'll cook to nothing, but it adds a lot of flavor into the juice of this. So we're gonna put it. Now I done, I went out there and picked these in the garden. I done scrubbed these onions and all real good before I, I started feeling. I was trying to get all my stuff together. 
But now I went and I got some of this wild garlic. I'm gonna put some of it in there too. I really like it. Now it was pretty dirty. And uh, so I washed it. I, I went and got Michelle's toothbrush because I, I didn't want to use mine. I, I seen Roscoe standing out there in his garden. And he, I ain't gonna say what he's doing. Y some of y'all may already be eating, but he was standing on three legs. I used her toothbrush to clean these. Now I like to cut this stuff up and just kind of, I'll leave it round on the top. Now usually y'all right here, I put some lemons in this. Now we got this turtle dove. Now I'm going to leave him whole and we're going to tuck him right down in his side right there. All right, now, we fix to start a seasoning this up good. I'll tell you what, I should have. Come on, buddy. That's all right. You can cook in your underwear. You, you get right there. Hop up there in that chair. Daddy's sure hoping you'd come help him. You know they watched you go on that squirrel hunt today? Boy, they was the folks that were talking about you on that squirrel hunt. Tell them about your squirrel hunt while I'm seasoning this. Huh? Turn around and tell them about your squirrel hunt. Did you go squirrel hunting yesterday? Did you have fun? Huh? You gonna talk? All right, y'all, I put lemon pepper. This is onion powder. I go overboard with seasoning in this because I'm gonna put a bunch of water as a garlic powder, garlic salt. And then Brother Tony Satchers. I don't know if y'all are familiar with old Brother Tony, but he, he's, he's been a faithful companion to the kitchen here for a long time. And I don't try to put a whole lot since we got Brody, because Brody, Brody gets aggravated if it's hot on him, don't you? You don't like it hot. Now we got some lemon juice. Now y'all normally I'll put some slices of lemons on the top of this, but I didn't have none. I like lemon. Now if you don't like lemon, you might not want to do that. I, I didn't realize that I had to tell people that. But you know. You know how YouTube is. Alright. We got that all did. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water. And we're not going to drown it and wash all the seasoning off. So I'm going to pour it on both edges, a little bit around the edges. And we just had about a, a, a cup in there. And it'll cook some juice out of that meat. So we just don't want it sticking to the bottom right here. And we didn't have room for this. So there ain't a lot of meat on there. There is a little bit right back there. Oh, we may fry it in a minute when we, we're going to fry some mushrooms. Brody, did you pick some mushrooms? We're going to eat them? All right. What else we got in here we eat? What all did we get? Squirrel. Squirrel. Do you want to eat that squirrel? That thing's going to be fine eating, ain't it? All right. Well, we're going to get our oven started. We're going to put it on bake. It's on about 350, so I'm going to start let it be preheating. Oh, where's the lid to that? We got a lid right here what goes on it. Oh, get that down on there good. I'm gonna sit right up there for a minute. All right, what I'm gonna do right here now before I get the mushrooms over here, we're gonna fillet that back part of that meat off of there. Now we picked these mushrooms and I washed them real good, uh, but now, some of that black right there don't get washed off. He's got a whole bucket of army men he's a trying to show y'all. Here, come here. He, he's, me and him played army men last night. See his arm? He's got a shoebox full of little army men. He got red ones and green ones and silver ones. And I was the green army last night. And the way we play army men is I set them all up and he knocks them over. That's, that's the way, ain't that how you're supposed to do it? They always get dead. They always get dead. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mama. We're 
I'm just cutting these up in pieces. Uh, I'm gonna deep fry this, so if you saute in it, I cut it up a mite smaller. But I'm basically making something similar to like a French fry. You know, just pieces. And these are really good deep fried. Now this one is, these are a little bigger than what I usually like to cook. So I ain't gonna cook no, y'all, we got a sack full of them. And I found a bunch more today uh, that I took pictures of. And uh, the, I don't know, I'll wind up with them in some video like, that is good size, I'll fry that right there whole. See what else is in there. I know we picked a few smaller ones. But, and uh, they'll dry out on you. This is an oyster mushroom. They will dry out on you in the refrigerators where I keep them. So what do is you can put a damp paper towel in here and put them in a Ziploc bag. This is a mesh bag and the moisture will leave out of them. But it, I'll, that's what we picked them in. You uh, put a damp rag in there and rehydrate them basically and, and they good to cook. So that's that's the deal yeah, on that. Them all do what? We picked some more mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, we sure did. I got some yard eggs, y'all. I we, I don't know what's the deal out there with them chickens. Now we are, uh, we getting a heap of eggs. Oh, uh, <laughs> I got ten chickens in that pen, and and we picked up about fifteen eggs today. So I don't know what's going on out there with them chickens. I may have to turn them red lights off. <laughs> All right, that may be enough, I don't know. Let's, let's stop right there. I'll just mix this up with this knife right here for the time being. I didn't get a whisk out. We got one somewhere. And if I need another thing, I can always add one to it. All right, now I got some flour. What this is, just regular self-rising white lily flour. Oh. I, I don't know if I was supposed to say white lily or not. I know they took Aunt Jemima off of stuff, so you may be just supposed to say flour. Uh, what I'm going to do is put these pieces of mushroom down in here. And we can't do but a few at a time. I wanted to kind of get all of them in there and and do them around. I'm, I'm going to try it, see if it'll work. It's kind of overloading the wagon, but that way I can, uh, I may have to. Yeah, I probably didn't have enough egg. But it, it's getting on there. It don't have to be a whole lot. That egg batter just helps this flour stick to it, and then that egg will fry up on there good. It's it's sure enough fine when you do these oysters. Somebody asked me today in comments about, and I think it was on my Facebook page, about cooking these oyster mushrooms and how to do They are really good sauteed. Uh, I like to take them and this wild garlic right here and saute them up with some meat in a skillet, deer meat, squirrel meat, about whatever. And it's really good that way. Uh, so... I mean, there's more than one way to, to do things, but now this right here is, these are really good like this. And I'm gonna tell y'all, these oyster mushrooms is probably my favorite mushroom to cook and eat. Um, I like chanterelles, chanterelles would be my second. Now we have not attempted to can any of these. Let me do, twist this up. Now this is just a, a, a plastic like a, a little more of a sandwich but i think it's a freezing type bag but it wouldn't zip lock and we had a bunch of them we bought we were processing some chickens all right but um these deep fried we we canned chanterelles and pull them out and, and put them in stuff with we put them on pizzas i don't know what all you put them on but the chanterelles have done really good can. We got them out and cooked them. They was in, in some rice and chicken. She cooked on the stove the other night. It was good. So I'm seriously thinking about, I, I found a, 
a tree that was covered with them the other day. I found a log today that was covered with them. I have thought about going and picking a bunch of them and canning them, but I don't know anything about canning oysters. I figure it's the same as chanterelles. I'd, I'd, I'd do it the same way to start with. Wipe that on your britches. All right, about half full. You don't want to fill that over half full. Let me get this. That's warmed up. Now put this in here. Now we're going to leave that in there about an hour and a half at least. Maybe two hours. I pull it out and I check it. I don't like it so much water it's full like soup, but I don't want it dry and stuck to the bottom either. So there's a happy medium to get to season this. So for we cook right here, let me get this box. The pouring part. You want to put some black pepper in there and some salt. And in, in you, I usually put it in the flour before I ever start, but I forgot. So we're gonna we're gonna. And it's thundering outside, y'all. They ordered us some more tornadoes, so instead of us waiting to, you know, like March and whatever to get tornadoes down here in the south, we start to get them in January pretty regular now, so or be for an interesting summer. <laughs> I did notice my my peach trees trying to bloom out. My plum bushes is blooming out. I hear that rain coming down out there having what Jerry Clyde would call one of them hurricanators. He said they went and got him a new dog one time, said his daughter wanted a puppy. He said they went to get it and one of them hurricanators, he said the rain was shoe miles deep. He said the windshield wipers is flopping, but you can't see nothing. So that's what I think we fixing to have out there. But speaking of new puppies now, Roscoe's got some young ones and I put them on my Facebook page. The lady up the road just got them today for sale. No. And we sure they his puppies. I mean, they, one of them it is a spitting image. I put some pictures of them up right here. But some of them is some spitting image of him. But uh, there's three of them. I think one of them's a female and there's two males. But uh, I know Jimmy Potts said something about he, he'd like to have one, but he's up in Oregon. He didn't know if we could ship it. Now, I told him, I said, hey, that ain't one of them places, you know, I'm just going to stop by and drop it off on the way to the store, so I don't know about shipping no puppy. What you got in there? Oh, he's got him. He got it. Look, Brody's got supper right here. He's got a fish in him. <laughs> he's running in and out here. All right, I'm trying to get this grease heated up enough we can fry these mushrooms up. I'm ready to smack on them. These are going to be the appetizers, the hors d'oeuvres. It ain't, ain't quite ready. While wow, that grease getting hot right there, I thought I'd shot my knife. But I washed this rock off over there in the sink with just water. But I was gonna tell y'all, if you need to clean your stone, uh, simple green, that green spray, it'll clean sandpaper. It'll clean, you, you try it out, see what you think. But anyway, I clean my stone. This is the way I sharpen. I keep this landscape. This is a good lansky rock. I can wash it, and I don't know what grid it is, but that's what I clean, sharpen my kitchen knives and pocket knives, and while I'm standing here wasting time, I rub a knife. Y'all, I'm not gonna take a dull knife. Life's too short for that. Nothing makes me madder than to pull a knife out and try to cut something and it won't cut it. And if there's somebody watching, my cousin, he's going on now, but he told my uncle one day we was over there and I jumped up and pulled out my, I had my buck 110 at the time, pulled it up and there was a rope, it was about an inch rope and I just said, and it cut it right in two. 
Mom said, that knife's sharp. My cousin looked at him and he said, he ain't gonna tote a dull knife. <laughs> I miss my old buddy, Michael Gray. I'd give anything for some of y'all to get to admit him. Look at this fish, Daddy. Yeah, he's got two fishes in there now. All right, let's see if we got, oh, uh, feels warm. I keep wanting to drop something in there. Oh yeah, look at that. Here we go and see what's going on, huh? Now I'm just dusting them off and dropping them in there. You see how that flower stuck all to them good? Now these these are gonna float right off the bat. You know, most time when something starts floating, it's done. Well, that ain't the case with these mushrooms. They gonna they gonna float in the beginning. You kind of looking for the color, and it don't take them long to cook. Now mushroom ain't no no whole lot to it. We're going to just keep dropping them in there. So I know we're in some of the other parts of the country. Y'all not familiar with way down here in the south. We deep fry everything now. They always going to be a pot of grease sitting on the stove in most every house because at any given time we'll come in with something and throw it in a sack of flour or a sack of cornmeal and then it'll go into this pot of grease right here and we call that cooking oil grease and the reason is because back in the old days my mom and papa used lard and that's all they'd cook with my mom and papa make it good though too but that lard is kind of hard to clean up. Now I've got two pieces of rabbit right here. And I'm going to go ahead and, and they'll sink down. And I'm going to drop them right off under. And they'll go under that. All right. Make sure there ain't nothing else in there. That's good flour. I'm, I'm, I'm bad to say that. But I think I'm going to go ahead and throw it away. I got plenty more of that white lily flour. I mean that flour. I don't know if I'm supposed to be saying white lily. Maybe just lily flour. It may be okay for white people to be on stuff. I, I don't know how that works. All right, I found me a piece of pottery. I don't know where you can find something like that at. Now, we like to lay the market bulletin on a piece of newspaper off in there to, to put our stuff on, soak that grease up, but when you try to look professional, you use a paper towel. I don't want these, I don't want to cook mine to lay good crispy. You see that meat up already trying to float? So I'm starting, I'm, I'm kind of, what I'm doing y'all is feeling of that. Is that one's kind of crispy. The ones I put in there first and the smaller ones is gonna be done. Because with this brand new oil, it won't change color drastically. And it took, I, I ain't even edited that. It's, it don't take long to cook them. All right, we're gonna get the deer meat out too. I need to turn it down. We got we got it a mic hot. All right, that's it. That's all that was in there. Brody's ready to try this out too. You wanna try this mushroom? Yeah. Come here. Come over here where them people can see you. All right, try it. Now tell me if it's good or not. Mmm, it's good. And he'll be honest with you because he'll turn right around that garbage can and go, if he don't like it. <laughs> Fine, right there. Mushroom. Mushroom. What... Them won't never make it till that other's done because it'll take way too long. He, look, you want another piece? Make sure it ain't hot. Mmm, mm, he said. We're just snacking on this. All right. Y'all having those? That's hot. Wow. And I swallowed that. Let this other cook for a little while. We'll pick y'all back up when it's about done and we'll have supper. 
fixing to load me up a plate. I doubt Brody is going to want to eat. Actually, I got some. I got some more plates because Brady has done work on these mushrooms, y'all. And I was going to like film us all sitting there and eat, but I done got told by everybody else they wasn't going to be on camera tonight. <laughs> so it's just me. I, it don't bother me. I've been on camera like three times today. So. Uh, but yeah, I had a whole, I'm going to show y'all. There's a whole pile of this, but Brody done that. Brody has worked on me. And if that ain't a testimony that something's good, when you get a three-year-old that'll keep eating something and keep coming back and get it, I mean, cause he, I can't get him to eat, he would not eat the rabbit. Uh, but now he does want some, uh, some squirrel. He's been wanting some of that squirrel, so I gotta make sure I dig him out some squirrel. I'm sure he'll eat the rabbit. Now I have some peas that was left over from last night. And y'all, Cornbread, it, hey, down south, we raised on peas and cornbread. If you find out a fella has been growed up on peas and cornbread, you don't want to mess with him a whole lot, okay? Because he probably hauled pup wood in his life, and he he, he, he probably ain't going to take no whole lot off it. <laughs> As a man in our community, they was doing some timber buying, such as this stuff, and they had a logging crew come in and was cutting, and they got aggravated at the man down there the way he was cutting something. So one of them, he said, I tell you what, said, I'm fixing to go down there and tell that man, I tell you what I am. <laughs> one of them said, hey, he said, I, I, I don't know if I'd go down there and say no whole lot to no man been running no chainsaw down there. See so that man said, he's, you know, you're probably right. <laughs> Man, middle of summer, been running a chainsaw all day. There's two things. He tough, and he ain't gonna listen to no junk off you. <laughs> so anyway, a little fun for you right there. Um, I'm gonna get this hot lid right here laid off to the side over here. I'm gonna lay it on that skillet right over there. And uh, I'm fixing to spoon me out some groceries right here. Now I'm gonna show y'all how we do this. Since I'm not gonna get to sit down and eat, uh, I'll sit down and show y'all. I, I take this right here and I crumble that cornbread up real good. So it'll sop up all that juice. And then you take these peas right here that mama done warmed up. And put that right over in there on there. And I'm gonna get me another spoon. I'd use the same one, but the rest of them might turn off. I'll open all these drawers over here to like. Oh, never mind. Look at here. Here's what I was hunting right over here. Alright. Oh, I'm gonna get one of the rabbit legs. Dear Lord, we so thankful for this food. We thankful for strength and health. We pray, Lord, that you would bless this food to the nourishment of our bodies, that it would give us strength and good health. In Jesus' name we ask you, amen. All right, I am missing, missing a very important piece of gear right here. And it, what I call a shovel, but it's a fork. But I like this, this salt right here on my peas good. I like my peas for ever more salt and down. It'd probably negatively affect my health, but you know, I'll just have to live and die with it. Now that lemon stuff adds a distinct flavor that I like. Like I said, you know, if you don't like lemon, don't put that in there. That's like if you don't like hot pepper, you know, leave your Tony's out. That sweet tea. I like it sweet enough you can stand a spoon up in it. Mmm, man. A mushroom. But the main thing, do you see how that rabbit right there? 
You see how that bone will just slide right out of that meat? Well, you know it's tender enough to eat. Mm. This is my favorite way to eat rabbit. I have eaten some good fried rabbit. I just prefer rabbit this way, and I really prefer the squirrel fried. But now it's good this way. The deal with squirrel this way, like if I kill, and I know it's an old squirrel, big, tough, I'm gonna cook him this way. If when I pick him up, he's a young, tender squirrel, he's gonna get fried. That's kind of how I determine that. Rabbits, I like them like this because they're big, and when I deep fry them, a big whole leg. Now, if you cut it off the bone and make strips and stuff, it's a whole lot better to me. Brody's fixing to crawl up in this chair right here and bump the camera so when y'all start doing all this, it's him. Why don't you come get right over here, bud? They can't see you over there. Look behind you. Lean back where they can see you. Talk to them since you got your face up there close enough they can count your boogers. <laughs> Hi, I've been picking mushrooms. Yeah. Tell them about that hunt you went on. That hunt? I Come right over here, buddy. Come over here and get this. <laughs> mm. I got a piece of bone. Come over here. I, Look. I can see them. I know, but you want to buy this dove? That's a bird. You want to bite? No. You don't? You want to try a piece of this rabbit? No. no. That's a piece of rabbit. Try it. See, he ain't going to eat just anything. Try the rabbit. Tell me if it's good. Squirrel. Well, I didn't get no squirrel. It's over here in the thing. Come around over here. We fixing to have to get him set up with a plate, y'all. Um. But man, this is good. This is some fine eating. It really is. This rabbit is very tender. It is flavored good. Y'all seen how I cooked it? Brother, do you like peas and cornbread? He does like him some peas. You're knocking that camera around. That's why I want you to get down from right there. You're bumping the camera. Quit! Lord help, y'all need y'all one of them little fellas back yeah, high, don't you? Come on over here and sit by daddy. Thank y'all for watching Spirit of the Outdoors. We'll see y'all next time. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. Brody, you gonna tell them bye? Bye. <laughs> you just hollered bye.